Hi, welcome to my channel, 369 Tarot. Thank you all so much for being here with me. And I'm going to do a pick a card reading for you guys today. So this pick a card reading is for star seeds. So if you identify as a star seed, this reading will be for you. Okay, so we have four groups here. Um, and I have a stone on each group and this is just going to be what message is for you and this is a message from home for star seeds. So we have the first group with this beautiful blue sandstone heart. We have the second group here with this rose quartz heart. We have the third group with this beautiful selenite heart. And the fourth group here with this kind of multicolored orange yellow heart. Okay, so I'll just give you guys a second to go ahead and kind of take a few deep breaths, meditate, and see which one of these piles are resonating with you. So we have pile number one, the blue sandstone, pile number two, the rose quartz, pile number three, the selenite, pile number four, um, I'm not sure what this is, I think it's carnelian, okay. So you can go ahead and choose, and then we'll continue on to the reading. There is going to be timestamps down below. And if you like to help support the channel, you can leave me a like, share, subscribe, and a comment down below to let me know if it's resonating with you. Information for personal and private readings are down below each video in the description box. And I will see you guys in the reading. Okay, hi pile number one, and this is for those of you who's chosen this blue sandstone. All right, so we're going to go ahead and begin and see what your message is um, from home or from your star family watching, okay? So the first card we have is Earth School, Life Lessons, Soul Growth, Study, Higher Learning. The second card we have is the gift, present, honoring, and offering. Okay, and the third card we have for you is earth healing. So it's really interesting to me, especially um, how you got earth school and earth healing. All right, um, so your message from home here is first of all with earth school, okay? Um, you're learning very quickly. I feel that you're somebody who really absorbs information. So you could be very much in a very mental space a lot of the times. Um, and I feel like you have been going through a lot of soul growth and a lot of growth personally um, within yourself really rapidly is what I'm feeling here. Okay, so I definitely feel like there's a message here to remember to um, take a breath and be in the moment. Okay, um, and I definitely feel like you're a very gifted. Um, I feel like you have a spiritual gift and this could be something that you're just finding out. You're trying to learn more about it is what I'm getting here. Okay, specifically, I feel like this gift um, is healing the earth and healing people on the earth is what I'm getting here. So you definitely have like a healing touch. Okay, so like a very cosmic healing um, touch here um, is what I'm getting. So you could have healing hands um, is one of the things I'm seeing. So I feel like you may have like a sense of urgency, like you feel like um, 
you know, you want to succeed very rapidly and you've been growing and learning very rapidly, but, you know, um, the message here is just to take some time to honor the present moment as well, okay? And also remembering that when you came here, um, you came here to learn lessons about yourself, um, and not only that, but to learn lessons about the earth as well and the earth realm. So it is earth school. So remembering that nobody is perfect here and we're all here to make mistakes and learn from that. Okay, that's what I'm seeing here. And I definitely feel like for this group, um, you were sent here um, to heal the earth as well with just your presence. So I feel like you have a very healing effect on the earth beneath you. Okay is one of the things I'm seeing here in one of your gifts, okay? Um, for some of you, I feel like you could be meant to work with children. Um, you know, you could be a teacher, um, a child psychologist, something along those lines, a counselor, um, a social worker, something like that is what I'm seeing here and is part of your gift, okay? But yeah, the message here is just to remember that we're all here to make mistakes. There's not one person, not one alive on this earth that is perfect, that has never made mistakes, okay? So um, Spirit is saying, you know, it's like you're honoring your gift and you want to learn more about it and you want to learn how to, you know, control it. But it's saying to take that time and honor the present moment as well. Okay. Um, is what I'm seeing here. And I also feel like for you, I can't help but feel for group number one, you have this inner child that just wants to really come out um, and you haven't been allowing yourself um, to enjoy the present moment. Like you haven't been allowing your mind to be still enough and just like enjoy time is what I'm getting here. So I really feel like that would be beneficial for you as well because there's like this inner child that I'm seeing that really, really wants to come out and experience that joy um, and wonder, you know, that the earth has to offer. Okay. And I feel like they've kind of been locked inside a little bit. Um, so yeah, just allowing yourself to experience that joy and wonder as well okay so that's what i have for you pile number one i hope it resonated with you and if it did you can leave me a comment down below like share and subscribe and i'll talk to you later bye okay for those of you star seeds who have chosen pile number two with this beautiful rose quartz here this is your message. So we have the blue flame, spontaneous awakening, activation, integration time. Very interesting. And then we have the Isle of Wonders, revelation, teaching, and discovery. Wow, that's beautiful. And I'm seeing all this blue. So I definitely feel like there's something going on here um, with your third, I'm sorry, your crown chakra and the throat chakra. So I feel like maybe you've had some blockage. And with the blue here, it's also emotional. Um, and it's also the feeling I'm getting here is that it's been unconscious okay so you definitely could have a lot coming up unconsciously maybe that you didn't even know was there before is what I'm getting here and it's causing an activation within you a spontaneous awakening okay um is what I'm seeing so you're discovering a lot here and then we have hold your center okay so I'm seeing 434. This definitely could be a light code for you, a synchronicity. Okay, so you may want to even meditate on the number 434. Okay, because that's what spirit is giving me here. And it could help you ground yourself and hold your center. Because I feel like for you, group number two, um, you've been going through a lot emotionally, especially since you've chosen this rose quartz. I feel like... Um, you've been holding a lot 
in in your heart, okay? I feel like your throat chakra has been blocked. Maybe a lot of the times you're afraid to speak from your heart um, is what I'm seeing here as well. Okay. Um, okay. So I definitely feel like... Um, you've been having almost like the spiritual awakening out of the blue out of the ordinary um and it's like you don't know where it's coming from okay so you're discovering a lot about yourself that was unconscious that was hidden and it's really coming up right now um you could be getting visions having these um visions of even past life maybe um from your home planet and I'm seeing blue and it's connected to these blue beings who appear to connect you to the blue flame um, because for some this awakening because I feel like you're going through a very hard time in your awakening and I feel like at times it could be too much so spirit is saying these beings are with you um, these blue beings Okay, to help you through this spontaneous awakening that's come from out of nowhere. But please remember that you are being activated spiritually. Okay, um, it's time to integrate some soul lessons from your past life and from this life. It's time to integrate that now. Okay, so you can hold all of that knowledge um, and you know teach that knowledge but first it needs to be discovered okay so I feel like for you there's an internal revelation going on here and it's um it's caused from a lot of pain um, a dark night of the soul is what I'm getting here okay and you know spirit is saying we're with you we're here to help you um, and you know spirit wants you to kind of stay grounded all right, um, is one of the things that I'm seeing here. And rose quartz could actually really help you through this. Um, and I feel like you really, for this group, you really need a lot of heart healing. So I want you to meditate on the numbers um, 434, four. okay? And I want you to connect to these beings. So this is almost like, like almost like an astral phone number you can use to connect with these blue beings here okay because they want to bring in this awareness um, and they want to bring in this discovery for you of who you truly are and what you came here to do okay um, and I feel like for you it's really hard letting go of certain beliefs that you've had um, you know, and I, it's almost like I feel like that's what you've been going through. It's almost like you're at this revelation stage where you realize that a lot that you've been told and believed in um, was not the truth, not your soul's truth anyways. Okay. Um, so it's almost like you're going through an internal discovery of who your soul truly is and the true purpose for you and that. So spirit is saying, it's okay. Um, I know it's hard. Just hold your center. Okay. And they're definitely here to help you. Um, and, you know, you have this direct line to these blue flame spirits. Okay. Um, who is part of your soul family. Um, and these are galactic beings to help heal. Okay. Um, specifically to help heal star seeds is what I'm hearing and seeing here. So to meditate on that number 434 and to connect with the blue flame. So you may want to hold the blue flame in your meditation and um, the numbers as well as the focal point, okay, to connect to these beings. Um, and I think that there's a beautiful discovery um, and some information that is there waiting for you with that, okay? So that's my message for you, pile number two. I hope it resonated and you enjoyed it. And if you did, you can leave me a comment down below. Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will talk to you later. Bye. Okay, pile number three here. With this beautiful selenite heart. And it just looks so glowy and pretty. Um, let's see your message from your soul family or your star family. 
Okay, we have Will and Orca Elders. Share your song, Frequency of Sound, Diving Deep. Okay. And then we have the Healing Temple, Restoration, Cure, and Safety. Beautiful. Okay, and then we have number six here, fourth ray of harmony. Okay. So I definitely feel here for you, pile number three, um, <laughs> there's a lot unconsciously that's coming up for you as well. But I feel like, um, especially if you've been having some kind of ailment, some kind of illness, and you know, you've been through um, doctors, you've been through a lot in regards to medicine, trying to heal it, and it's like you just can't figure it out. Spirit is saying sound frequency here will help you, and I think that you're from, your soul is from a place that really uses that sound frequency. Okay, so I feel like for you, music, um, you know, or binarial beats, anything with a natural um, gigahertz, you know, tone, maybe um, looking up planetary tones, cosmic tones, um, also t natural tones of the universe, right? So I feel like you have a lot of wisdom hidden w deep within you unconsciously. Okay, so I feel like you are a very, very old soul is what I'm getting here. Um, and I feel like the wisdom that you've carried lifetime over lifetime um, over different planets, the wisdom that your soul brings. So you're a very, very ancient soul um, is what I'm seeing for you, pile number three. And the wisdom that you carry, the frequency of that wisdom, if that makes any sense, um, is carried with you. So all you need to do is look within is what I'm seeing here. Okay, so there's a lot of healing that wants to take place here, okay, is what I'm seeing for you. Um, so they're saying to look within and use sound frequencies, and I think that that could be a calling for you as well. Um, something to do with working with sound frequencies. I think that you're really, really connected to that somehow and healing through sound frequency. Okay, so it's like your soul embodies some kind of wisdom that has to do with that here. Um, um, is what I'm seeing, okay. I also feel like you have some kind of wisdom within you and part of your life's purpose here um, is to heal others through, um, through unity, through harmony and finding, um, finding a cure for like, all of this division across humankind, finding a cure, something that, um, something that has to do with um, frequency, love frequency, and the frequency of harmony, and being able to connect um, to everyone on some sort of love frequency or wave of sound. Okay, so being able to bring people together through music, through meditation, um, something pure. Um, something pure and artistic and creative um, is what I'm seeing here for you as part of your purpose. And um, I feel like that's also going to be very, very healing for you. Because I feel like for you, um, with your star family and where you're from, your planet, um, they really use harmonics and sound frequencies as cures. So there, um, what I'm hearing is they don't have like medicine or anything like that. Like anything that goes wrong can be cured through this sound frequency or frequency of sound or vibration is what I'm getting here. Okay. Um, so yeah, if you have been feeling low, if you have been feeling um, not very well and you've been to the doctor, you've been checked out, it's saying to look into that sound frequency, okay? So that's what I have for you. Um, pile number three, I hope it helped or at least resonated with you. And if it did, you can leave me a comment down below, like, share, subscribe, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.
Hi, pile number four, and this is your message for those of you who've chosen the stone. Okay, so we have empathetic starseed, energetic sovereignty, absorbing what's not yours. So um, if you've been questioning, if you're a starseed, yes, you are a starseed, but what's more, you are an empath as well. So you're an empath starseed, which can be very, very heavy. So I feel like for you, you definitely almost like walk through life um, as um, a mirror and people will um, project things onto you without realizing it. So they're actually giving you their energy and it's like you're walking around with this weight on you is what I'm feeling um, and I feel like for you you can definitely see through people you can look into someone's eyes and see um, what they're thinking what they're feeling what they're going through okay um, but I also feel like people have a tendency to put things on you as well. Um, and it's like you do definitely absorb negative energy. I feel like for you, you're a, a transmitter or a transmuter of energy. So you definitely almost like absorb negative energy and turn it into positive energy, almost like a battery is what I'm seeing for you. But it can be very overwhelming sometimes. And I feel like a major lesson for you, pile number four, is letting go of emotions and feelings that is not yours, okay? All right, so we have liminal dance, delicacy, fragility, and transience, and we have the number eight. And then we have initiation by fire, 22. All right, so what I'm seeing here is that um, you feel very, very delicate. You feel, um, and I definitely think that, um, yeah, you feel very delicate. You feel um, definitely caught in between two worlds a lot of the times. Um, and it's saying learning how to let those things go, that which is not yours, okay? Learning how to almost like weed out your emotions, your feelings from others, okay? And I think that once you learn how to do this and once you do this, um, it actually, um, you you will feel so much better. You will feel so much lighter. So I'm definitely just seeing you carry around the weight of the world on you, okay? And it's like you feel very delicate, very fragile, like one more thing and you might break, okay? But Spirit is saying you don't have to hold those things. Okay, I, and I know it's your nature because you're an empath and I know it's your nature to hold those things, but you are an energy transmitter and notice this, look at that, how she's transmuting this energy, um, the negative energy, burning it up in the fires and turning it into light and connecting straight to source and you are very protected, okay, but this is learning how to protect yourself as well, okay, so I want you to work with being able to energetically shield yourself and I want you to imagine when things feel too heavy for you, um, when the weight feels too heavy, I want you to imagine this beautiful golden fire burning it all away um, and blowing out all the negative energy um, as black smoke, returning that into the earth and then um, turning it into a beautiful white light, um, a beautiful white pulsing light energy here, okay? Um, and this is gonna help you with protecting yourself. It's gonna help you get rid of unwanted energies as well. And I'm also seeing 822 um, could be a sync for you, could be a sign or a light code or a signal that you're getting an activation or a download, okay? So that's what I'm seeing for you, pile number four. And I hope that this reading was helpful for, helpful for you. I hope that it resonated. And if it did, you can leave me a comment down below. Like, share it, and subscribe. And um, yeah, I will talk to you later. Bye.